everyone. Back again for more Earthbound Paula and Bubble Monkey only run. I've definitely committed, so we're going to see this one through to the end if we can. I've got my handy dandy save editor ready just in case anything goes awry and I got to give somebody the uh, ATM card so we can fix things. Fun fact, I actually found out um, through watching some YouTube videos of somebody else doing a similar thing. That part where um, Aloysius Minch runs off. Oh, hey there, Skill. Thank, thank you. Good to see ya. The part where uh, Aloysius Minch decides to uh, run, uh, run off the screen and disappear forever. If you wait like three minutes, he eventually finds Ness. And the box comes up and everything. And then you have to wait like... I think you have to wait for Lardna to do something similar. And then Buzz Buzz takes like, I don't know, over 12 minutes or something like that. Like, an absurd amount of time to fall. But eventually, all of the things do reach the point to wherever Ness is on the map and it will work. So maybe next time I'll just, uh, I don't know, maybe I'll use the speed button. So, I'm not going to really deal with Mondo Mole right now, because uh, as we experienced last night, Mondo Mole is incredibly difficult for just Paula right now. We're going to just come back later and do the bosses a little out of, out of sequence, because I think dealing with the stuff in 3 is going to be easier than trying to hope I can get some successful... PK Thunders on Mondo Mall. Even though I accept that that means I'll have to come through Peaceful Rest Valley one more time. Or twice more, because I'm not going to have Teleport either. If you let Bubble Monkey lag behind you um, and you run in quick enough, you can kind of catch catch them from behind like that. I thought that was pretty neat, too. Oh, hey, I never got that. Well... That's not really going to be useful if I'm doing a solo run now, is it? But at least I can sell it. I think it's worth quite a bit of money, so I can at least sell it to get a full heal or something. Yeah, that hit detection is weird. If I'm not mistaken, though, isn't the bridge just over here fixed? Making it much easier to get across. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah. Oh. That's what exactly what I was hoping wouldn't happen there. No. I have two dollars, and the hospital's probably going to charge me a fee. Oh no. At least they don't do much damage at this point. I'm mostly taking damage from uh, sneezing. I should have just froze the thing. I'm going to lose the PP anyway. If only that was the secret herb and not life noodles. Then it might actually... uh. Get rid of the cold. Whoa. If you open up the menu every couple of steps, you don't take damage. Is that a thing? No, I guess it's just just about as occasional. It just slows down the process. Thought I was onto something there. No, I don't need kombucha. I need a doctor. I need to go to Polestar too, but I need to, uh... Well, I don't think I'm going to do the, like, glitch skippy thing, so let's actually use the skip sandwich for what it's intended for. Run really fast. No! Oh. It took the game a second to think about that one. Okay, I've got to go. Wait, I can't. I need to go to the department store, sell the life noodles, and make it to the hospital. I probably have to buy food at the department store so I can heal. Or I can go to the hotel right next door if I have enough. I know. I don't have any money. Uh -huh. Oh no. Think I'm okay? I can at least save, so I'll spawn here.
89 bucks for the cup of life noodles. Okay. Let's save. I guess I could buy a cold remedy and then go to the hotel. I mean, if I die, it's not the worst thing ever, right? Oh, wait, I'll lose half of my money I just spent. Or I just earned. I'm going to die right here. Okay. Okay, cold remedy. As long as I don't step, I'm good. Oh, that was too close. Way too close. I think I can make it to the hotel without getting attacked, right? At least hotel fees are cheaper with one person. Doesn't offset the cost of not being able to use the ATM card, but you know. I'll need to buy some kind of food item if I'm going to go to Threed. See if I could buy, like, some croissants or something. No, burgers are kind of expensive. Let's see. They don't have croissants. They have bread roll. But if I can buy a burger for 15 For 14 Yeah, we'll just go with the hamburger. I might as well buy a can of fruit juice. Probably should have saved those dollars for the phone, but whatever. I could just go save at the hotel, which I should have probably done. Just in case the next cutscene glitches something out. But it seems to be like the things that are hard-coded to look for Ness. Um, it seems that they work, generally, but they'll just kind of run off the screen for like three minutes or something. <laughs> so that, that it's uh, not too broken. It's not as broken as I thought it would be, honestly. Oh, yeah, I got to go talk to. Oh, I think uh, Paula's mom will give me a hand aid for saving Paula. <laughs> My doppelganger.
In the other video I watched too, um, they named all of their characters Paula so that the dialogue options would always say Paula. Your backpack is filled with junk. No. I could... I think I can have Tracy hold the receiver phone because... I don't believe I actually need to keep it in my inventory for anything. I think the cutscenes just play out regardless of if you have it or not. I also don't need the pencil eraser for a while. Or the travel charm. I guess I need to make a trip back to Onet. Since I can't call Escargo Express. For now, I'll just drink the fruit juice. I knew I shouldn't have bought that. Oh, I have to get the backstage pass. Oh, which means that I need... Okay. Yeah, before I leave Tucson, I'm going to go do some inventory management. I'm not, you know... Maybe I shouldn't leave the pencil eraser just because... I don't want to get stuck in a part of a game where I need the pencil eraser... But I can't get the pencil eraser. Like, if I don't have the number for S Cargo Express, and I can't get the number for S Cargo Express, I couldn't possibly, and I can't, if I can't get back to Onet, then I can't get whatever I stored with Tracy. Oh, it won't let me store the receiver phone. You have to use a tool if you want to manually remove that. Yeah, I'll just, I'll keep the eraser on me just in case. Maybe I'll, I'll store the town map just because I know the town's decently well enough and I don't really need it.
You know, I changed my mind. I do need those extra item spaces. I'm going to go ahead and put the pencil eraser back. And we'll make a trip back to Onet if I need to. If it does come up, I'll know that it's a soft lock. And then I can just use the save editor to uh, either give Paula an ATM card or just give her the pencil eraser to get through the thing. And then I'll just know then next time not to do it. We don't need that taking up inventory space. Wait a minute. Yes, we do. I just remembered where, where the other one is. I believe you need it in threed underneath the thing, right? Okay, yeah, never mind. Since I'm second guessing myself, I'll just bring the pencil eraser and save myself the headache li later. Hmm. Nah. Well, might as well. Might as well hold on to it. Why shouldn't I? Why not? Why not? I don't know why I'm facing such indecision about keeping the pencil eraser or not. We'll hold on to it for now. Then again, it, it would hold, help to have the extra items in three but I already got rid of the town map so we're fine Alright, let's do the thing here. Fuzzy pickles. Oh, yeah, I've got to watch the show first. After all, why wouldn't I want to watch them anyway?
here for the runaway five. Oh, that's weird. Um, remember how I was talking about the cutscene breaking things? I think we might actually have to sit here and uh, and wait. I hope that's all we have to do. I can't do anything else. I think the camera is supposed to pan down to Ness and then it eventually uh, opens a text box. Well, I guess we'll wait. It should take. I, I would guess it, judging by what the other video said about the similar situations, it's probably going to take somewhere between three to five minutes. So, uh, yeah. I could, I could bind the speed button and then try to speed it up, but I'm, I kind of down to just sit here and, uh, ramble on a bit, smoke a bowl. I'm curious to see how long this actually takes. It should work, though. I hope. This would be one frustrating speedrun category, the Paula Bubble Monkey percent run. Or the Paula only run. And then like unless you can glitch out of the certain cutscenes, you can you uh I don't know. Unless you can glitch out of the certain cutscenes, you'd have to like sit there and wait forever. There we go. That didn't take too long. See, I would have just assumed that it was over. I, I would have like, if I didn't know better, if I didn't like look into it more, I, I would have probably just sat there after a few minutes and been like, OK, it's broken. It's not coming back. But apparently 
If you just have patience and a little bit of faith in the engine to catch up, it will happen. Or, as mentioned before, the handy dandy speed button. Oh shit, I didn't go and talk to him. I completely spaced what I was doing. I spent so long sitting in that... That little... Void, I forgot that I was supposed to come on here and give the guy the money. Oh, not the backstage pass, the water fills. There we go. All right, time to go to Threed. <laughs> Bubble Monkey just kind of waits for a sec. I love Bubble Monkey. It would have been really funny taking Dungeon Man through these cutscenes, thinking about it. Maybe I'll... Um... <laughs> Maybe when I do Jeff, I'll bring Dungeon Man. <laughs> or I'll bring Tony. I'll do Pooh and Dungeon Man. Though Tony might break the game. Oh, I forgot to grab that gift. Oh, well. Be a gift for later, I guess. I think that's a skip sandwich, too. Theoretically, I had like three skip sandwiches. I probably could have performed the skip glitch and been through it if I wanted. I don't know. I kind of like seeing these characters through their own cutscenes. All right, no going back now. All right, what we got here? Just plain old garbage. I should have farmed for money before I came here. That's bad. Big oops. This would have only been four mushrooms, and it's the only thing I can equip. I'm sure Threed has something I can farm, though, right? I think the some of the graveyard things drop stuff. Okay, so I know Threed... I can't remember exactly which way it is. I can't wait to see the photos at the end of this one. I've heard with Paula only, it only shows Paula, but uh, I have Bubble Monkey too, so I want to see if... Uh... Bubble Monkey will be there chilling in random spots like he does. Oh, Teddy Bear, yes. It's 
this a hint shop guy? Yeah. No, I need to go find the zombies up here. That's an actual trash can. Get the insecticide spray. That's probably going to be really useful, even though I have PK fire. Stared into my soul. Oh, that's weird. Ness, Ness disappeared. Neat. I thought either Ness would appear here. I know I'm going to have to do some editing here, I think. I think I'm going to need to give... I need to give Jeff the uh, card, I think, here. All right, so I'm going to play this part a little bit as Jeff until I can save. Because so I don't know if it will save here. But that's okay, because this is just cutscene stuff. I think next time I do this, I'll prepare the save file ahead of time, just in case. I'll give everybody the ATM card to start, if I can do that. I should be able to do that. I don't want to take all the cookies just because, uh, I don't know. I know I'm going to grab some stuff down here. Oh, I shouldn't have taken those. Ah, uh, that's okay.
Oh yeah, I have to try to use the key. Okay, that worked perfect, except for I need to eat one cookie because I'm going to have to give Jeff the ATM card with the save editor. I guess I'll do the cutscene um, just with Jeff and I'll go right outside and I'll sell or I'll, I'll call with the phone because I already have two dollars. All right, I'll save here. Okay, so we're saved. We're going to go ahead and close that out. Let's see here. I need to back up my save file first and foremost. just in case I bork it somehow by using a save editor on a ROM hack. Huh. Should be fine. That's backed up. Let's see. There we go.
from Jeff's inventory. You know, let's give Jeff the ATM card. Perfect. Paula doesn't need it for now. I'm just going to preemptively give uh, Pooh the the card as well. Because I know I'm going to have a similar problem in the future. And I want to see what happens if I uh, if Paula goes through Moo training. Jeff has the ATM card. Who has the ATM card? Paula's inventory is full, so I don't want to mess that up yet. I'm going to have to play with the save editor some more. This has got some pretty fun stuff. You can change event flags and all sorts of neat stuff. So the save file should be changed. You want to save. Okay, and I will be right back, and we're going to load that up and see if everything worked properly then. All right, I'm back now. Let's uh, get the ball rolling some more.
All right, there we go. We got video. All right, Jeff has the ATM card, so we use the debug menu and Add Paula. We're about to get Bubble Monkey. But I kind of wonder what happens if we add Bubble Monkey. I'm sure it won't matter. Oh yeah, I also have to remove Jeff. Bye, Jeff. Paula's like, I'll take it from you. Okay, I don't have the ATM card or anything, so that's fine. Got the null. I got the null. Um, I wonder if it'll work though, because I didn't technically talk to Bubble Monkey. Okay, so this might have to be reloaded. I'll just, hmm. I'll just not save. Because I feel like I'm going to blast through all of the stuff in this area anyway. So I'm really not concerned with that. I guess that um, that part's hard scripted too. Instead of just giving the player, you know, whoever a pack of bubble gum, it puts the pack of bubble gum in Jeff's inventory specifically. But since Jeff isn't in the party, it just gave me a null. Well, Bubble Monkey is in my party, so we'll, we'll see if it does a party check or not.
Fuzzy pickles. I love the busted uh, life meter there. Oh no, it doesn't work. And the reason why it doesn't work is I don't have Bubble Monkey in the party. So, well, I do have Bubble Monkey in the party. I'm wondering, there's two ways I could go about this. I could either try to save over my current file and get the pack of gum. Or I could just use Jeff to get Bubble Monkey into the party and then... I don't know. Okay, I need to use the save editor again. I'm going to reset really quick. All right. I guess I could just give uh I want to see what happens if I give Paula the pack of bubble gum. We'll try that first. I want to see if that'll work. Why does Ness on my... Oh, wow. So Ness on my save file, too, has all of those fresh eggs and bananas that I tried to get from the food stand in Happy Happy Village. That's so weird. Okay. Um... Paula will just, I'll just get rid of the ketchup packet. We're going to swap that out for the pack of bubble gum. And if that doesn't work, then I'll just uh, reload it and play through with Jeff. There it is. Took OBS a minute to find it. All right. Lots of save hacking involved to make this possible, that's for sure. Paula and might as well just bring bubble monkey into it I want to see what happens see if we get double bubble monkey let me let it initialize first okay Jeff is two drop Bye, Jeff. 
Okay. What if I just use the pack of bubblegum? Do I need to talk to her? Call a chew to piece of bubblegum, but it wasn't satisfying as... Give me some gum. There we go. Bubble Monkey joins me, even though I've already got Bubble Monkey. So that does nothing, just as projected. Alright, good. Now I've got the pack of bubble gum. Honestly, the insecticide spray. Mm. Yeah, because I don't really need it. I think I'm going to need the health up more than the insecticide spray. Because most bugs are pretty weak against fire anyway. Just use PK fire. It's fine. That's actually a cool picture.
It's such a good thing I brought the pencil eraser here. Ah, I fought with myself so hard on that. But, like, something in me told me that this would be a good idea. That's awesome. I just skipped Brick Road entirely. And of course, Paula's like just high enough level to deal with everything. Hamburger. Take the hamburger. I probably don't even need to do that. There might... No, I don't think there's anything I need up there. I mean, I might as well check, because I don't have to worry about really fighting anything here. Cheap bracelet. I already have the copper bracelet, which is better. Glad that works. I'm afraid to talk to the sanctuary boss here because I know I'll be very underleveled. And it might actually work considering it's not Jeff out front. But I haven't saved, so I'm not going to chance it.
Oh, goodbye, Bubble Monkey. We'll see you again later. I'll probably add Bubble Monkey back to the party whenever I get a chance. Oh, I didn't realize that wasn't doing much damage. Not sure how much the hand aid does, so I'll just throw away the hand. Picnic lunch is probably better. How much does the hand aid restore? It heals your wounded body. I think I think it might be a full heal. I'm not sure. save here. We flying. I love how the text box is still just hanging out.
Ness. Oh, where did Paula go? Bubble Monkey stayed, but Paula disappeared. Oh, that's weird. Well, okay. But it says Paula's in my inventory. Or Paula's in my inventory, in my party. What the heck? I'm... Okay. So I saved at the lab, so if anything goes wrong here... We'll know what to do, I guess. Jeff is supposed to break out with the bad key machine, right? I believe that's what needs to happen. Jeff has the bad key machine. The door opened. Okay. So now I believe from here we can put Paula back in the party. Well, Paula's already in the party, so I wonder what happens if I remove Ness. Oh. Paula's invisible. And Jeff is in slot two. So... We'll remove Jeff. All right, bye, Jeff. Thanks for uh, breaking us out. Now my menu's uh, really screwed up, and Paula is invisible. Paula is still invisible. Okay. Well, that that that's okay. I guess for invisible Paula, for now. I should have kept that insecticide spray. I don't know why I got rid of that. Now I'm thinking about the flies and stuff that show up out here. Boogie tent's going to be hard too. Oh no. I should have used freeze. It's my fault. I was fooled. I thought those were actual trash cans. Okay, Freeze does wonders against these ones, right? That's right. Takes care of those smelly ghosts. Oh, that's not good. I guess I better go save out here just in case. I don't want anything funky happening. Fortunately, don't have the money to stay here.
I know I have to beat Boogie Tent, but I also somehow need to full heal before doing that. I mean, I guess I could just try to go take it on. I just saved, so like, I could reload. Maybe I'll get... I'm not too far from the next level up. Maybe I'll just do some level grinding and see how the enemies out here go for a bit. Oh, that's not good. Well, I don't have any money, so I guess if I die, it's fine. But then I'll run out. I won't have any PP. Ah, oh, that's not good. Doesn't this restore PP as well? No. I think I'm going to die here, probably. No, I'm okay. Oh, I can't buy a cold remedy. I'm poisoned. Yeah, I'm gonna die. I should have shouldn't have wasted that damn hamburger. You know what? I just saved before going down there. We're gonna reset that. Doing it for the hamburger. Okay, I'm not gonna go fuck with those dogs. We're just gonna come up here and uh, do some level grinding. Probably shouldn't have reset there, but eh, whatever. It is what it is. This takes care of the ghost. Yeah, I'm gonna need lots of level grinding, actually. I actually need to figure out A better way to uh, get some defense to grind some money. Actually, a trash can. Oh no, it's not a trash can. Sneaky.
Okay, what can I do for a full heal? Is it still only $50 here? Oh, the hotel's back to normal. $60, okay. I don't have enough stuff to sell. I'm not going to sell that PSI caramel. It's too precious. But I need to farm something. One of these enemies has to drop something. I would, I would guess it would be one of the ones up here. I probably should have just went for Boogie Tent, honestly. As a matter of fact, uh, well, I don't know. I don't want to screw things up too much and reset again. I, I could reset again and try, but I feel like I've already committed to leveling up more. I guess that's what I have to do. I'll just have to get into battles like this and just pray over and over again. got my life all the way up. I don't like that very much. Oh no, damn it. I meant to attack the moldy man, not the smelly ghost. Ah, rip. That's okay. I'll just I'll do the prayer thing. I won't fight any zombie dogs. I'll just keep praying and uh see what happens. We'll put it in the hands of RN Jesus. Or I can find butterflies and... Feel really good. Okay. There we go.
Oh, gotta try to avoid the. Oh. I wonder if fire works for these. Nope. Oh no, I wasted that. Oh, that's not good. Um. Um, I can't do anything. I am stuck in a death loop unless Bubble Monkey can get me out of this. Please, Bubble Monkey, you're my only hope. Oh, wait, I had an option. I should have tried to run. That was my only chance, and I'm still possessed, so I've got to go get an exorcism. Got to go talk to the healer. Gotta go to the hopsicle. Need to charge you seventy dollars. Seventy dollars? For that price, I'd rather just die and go to the hotel for sixty. Guess I'll just die. I'll just keep praying. Let's see what happens. Time to go looking for butterflies in a zombie-infested graveyard. I think each butterfly gives me about 20. And if, if I wanted to be, like, at max, I need 100. So I could find five butterflies. That would be optimal. Then I can save before fighting... Um before fighting Boogie Tent. Hmm. 
Hoping I might find one around town. Huh? Hiding behind that guy. Perfect. Well, remember they spawn there, too. I guess I'll just come up this way. Because I know they spawn. Ooh. That's a no good fly. Ah. Oh shit, I forgot that happened. Oh, why did I do that? Ah. Oh. Why? Alright, to hell with it. Be gone. Why did I... I should not pray again. What am I doing? I don't have any PP left. Uh... Yeah. Nope. That was a total waste of a fight. What the hell? Uh... Yeah, I need to figure out... Consistent butterfly farm. Maybe right here. Maybe I just gotta back, go up and down the street. So I don't get caught out like that. Just gotta watch out for those. Yeah, they're all running in the circus tent. This is, um, quite the predicament. I figure since they spawn over here, I could go in this way. Just in and out the thing.
Not really having good luck with that butterfly spawn there. Let's just uh, try what we were doing earlier. Just I'll avoid those. Maybe I'll find one up over here. There's got to be a good consistent butterfly spawn somewhere. I shouldn't go in that deep. I'm going to end up trapping myself in. Ooh, Zambambos. No Zambambo. This would be a great time to have the bicycle. Oil snake, what are you doing here? Oh. Oh, I'm almost dead. Coil snake seems to be a random spawn for in here. Must be a rare one. I guess I might as well die and respawn because if I get if I get my PP up right now it's not going to be very good so I'll just let's just rush into it shall we All right. Full health. Still no muns. Do the puppets drop anything? I wonder. Oh, butterfly. Okay. So butterflies do spawn in this general area if I just keep coming back and forth. Yeah, I'm going to have to use at least freeze. I'm already, like, low health. What the hell? I really, really, really should have farmed money. 
when I had the chance in Tucson. I should have came back and got myself like a good four or five hundred dollars um, for mushroom hunting. There's no, there is a healer that would give me money for mushrooms, but there's nobody in three that can mushroomize me. So, I'm stuck. Skirt the outside here and see if there's any gift boxes laying around. There's the boogie tent. We're going to ignore that for now. Just explore the town. Try to find some butterflies. I've noticed the butterflies like to hang out like in the peaceful areas of town. Or the graveyard, which I guess in a sense is peaceful. Except not really, because it's zombie apocalypse time. Do you drop anything? Okay, trick or trick kids only take one PK freeze to defeat. Skip sandwich. As valuable as that could be, I might sell that. If it can get me one hotel night, if I sold that in the picnic lunch, it might be worth it. But then those are like my best health restoring items other than the hand aid. Butterfly.
Hope you all like creepy three music because we're going to be here for a while. Oh, what was that? Oh, the trick or trick kid. That's so weird, I expect to insta-kill him, but then it, it takes me to this. I know they only give me one XP. I guess some part of me is just hoping that they'll randomly drop something, which I also know that they don't. Bop.
Oh shit. I need to get my health back up there. Maybe I should find one of those trick-or-trick kids. Since I can kill them in one shot easy. I feel like these drop something, so I want to fight them. I can't remember if freeze doesn't do much, right? I have to fire. Just bash, honestly. Well, that was a bad idea. With enough of this, I should eventually find the butterflies and everything. I swear I just saw something over here. I must be tripping. I guess I'll just fight this thing. I don't like where this is going. 
There we go. That's better. Oops. There we go. Well, I gained a lot of HP and then I lost it all. Such is the nature of gambling. Honestly, clicking the the prey thing over and over is it's just like a slot machine.
I can get 40 more, and then just to restore my health, I think I'll be okay. Bubble monkey, why? Just have to get rid of that quick. Might as well get a little bit of level grind. Even if it brings me down some PP, but as long as I don't do it too often. It's not that bad. Only really for the trick or trick kids though, because they can die in one hit to freeze.
We are getting there. I swear I need to take a different path just to break up the scenery a little bit.
Ooh, that's going to be super, super helpful. Ah, uh, but I hate throwing away something. I guess I can throw away the tin of cocoa. Yeah. Good to know those do drop bombs. So maybe I'll go ahead and eat something first. And I could keep looking for those while I'm looking for butterflies. And uh, the bombs might help me against Boogie Tent, or I could sell the bombs. That's another idea. How much will they give me for a skip sandwich? I would, I would like to try to save up enough money to... Get a hotel visit before taking on the boogie tent. Nineteen dollars. I don't know if I want to sell that. I mean, it doesn't do much for me in the long run. Unless I sell it. And I don't plan on dying soon. I guess I could buy a better food recovery item. Like, I could go to the burger shop, right? Don't have enough for the thick fry pan. See, there's a burger shop around here, right? There's a bakery. I think a croissant would just do better in this situation. So trading the skip sandwich for a croissant. That's a little better. Let's see if I can find more butterflies or trick-or-trick kids.
That ghost was coming for me. Lucky me. Let's see, what does that put us at? 84. This might be okay to do it. Let me see. Optimally, I would have a full heal, but I think I might be able to work with this. I mean, how many how many PK attacks am I really going to be able to get off before Boogie Tent kills me anyway? I don't know. Let, I'll walk around for a little bit longer, see if I get lucky. I think I'm... Uh, just about ready to take on Boogie Ten. Alright, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's save. I can always just um, reset to save. So I don't have to do that all over again. Oh, not the hospital. Where am I going? I already know how it's going to end up, so I'm just going to the hospital. Let them know. I don't have a great feeling about this. I believe fire is the best route to go. Oh, I should have healed. Uh, too late. Maybe? Oh. Didn't mean to hit yes there. Let's try that again. I wasn't really paying attention to my health. I should have probably popped the hand aid. Because I think the hand aid's a full heal. I hope I saved that right. Oh my god, no. Wait. Okay, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm at the right place. I thought For some reason, I thought that the three hotel was still going to be funky. And I was like, no, no, no. Don't tell me I'm all the way back in like Tucson or something silly like that. <sighs> okay. Um, It was a while since I... Saved last, so I couldn't remember. All right. So I'll pop the hand aid this time. I'm wondering if I could bank on freeze a little bit to solidify him. I don't know. I know he should be weak to fire, though. That seems to do quite a bit of damage. Let's 
try the hand aid. Yeah, that's a full heal. Damn it. Where this is going. Oh, there we go. Just took a little perseverance, I guess. Well, that went better than expected. All right, we got the jar of fly honey. Now I know, I think, oh, do I have to stay the night at the hotel? Oh, that's going to be a big problem. I know I have to after I get, yep, okay. You get the call from Apple Kid. Got the zombie paper coming our way. Let's just pretend that you're Ness and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello Ness. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made the decision that you're Ness no matter what. Yeah, you and pretty much everybody else I've talked to this adventure. <laughs> Okay, so I've got the f zombie paper. We just got to go put the zombie paper down. And then we get to deal with the fun of trying to grind enough money to um, stay the night at the hotel. We need $60. Maybe I could sell the bomb as much as I don't want to do that. If it will get me enough money to get objective done, I might just do it. Let's see how much they'll offer me for the bomb. Just me walking into a random drugstore. Hey, can I sell this bomb? Ah, oh, damn it. I'm mad because it works, and I'm going to do it just uh, so I can progress without having to sit here and grind for hours. I mean, I guess if I want more bombs, I could do what I was going to do anyway and just beat up some trick-or-trick -trick kids. Better save. All right, we're making our way to Saturn Valley. 
do believe, right? Yeah, because all the zombies are gone, so I can now go up this little path. At least I got a nice fresh heal at the... Damn it. <laughs> at the uh, hotel. Thankfully, once I get to Saturn Valley, I can do that for free. Let's see, will Fire Alpha get rid? No, I think I need Fire Beta to get rid of them. That's annoying. I can't remember. I feel like freeze doesn't work for this one. You have to use fire. Yep. That's right. Freeze works on the putrid moldy man really well, though. Damn. That's heavy. No, thank you. Is this room cheesable? Oh, there's a butterfly in here. That makes it all worth it. Yes. Oh, but this thing poisons me. Hey there, Leptail. Yeah, I love the sound effects and the music, too. These creepy little caves and the reverb. Skip Sandwich DX. I'm doing pretty good. How about you? Relaxing as hard as you can. I feel that. It's good to just kick back. Ooh, Freeze does like nothing to these ones. Thank you. 
My favorite F Zero. Okay, my favorite F Zero is probably uh, definitely F Zero X. That's the one I kind of grew up with. GX is really good too, and of course, you know the classic is great. Played a lot of F Zero ninety nine lately. Uh, I was streaming that one a lot, but I haven't played it in a good minute. I think I might end up dying here. Let's see. Let's let's try praying and see what happens. Let's try for that max health or something. Oh, there we go. All right, we got the maxed out health. That's the best we're going to get. Try to just end this thing. I believe. All right. Silver bracelet. That's good. I've got to make it to Saturn Valley, though. Oh, no. If this thing possesses me, I'm done for. Possession will get you stuck like in an infinite death loop. I just have to pray the cold away. Slimy little pile here. Ah. Oh. Alright, I think I should probably pray before I end up killing the thing. See if I can get that uh, full heal again. Oh no! Rip. Oh no, that's really bad. I'm thinking it might be better to restart the save from the full heal. And then I'm going to bring a cold remedy this time. We can pick up the silver bracelet again.
Oh, I should have got a cold remedy. Damn it. I have enough money for it, too. I really need to grab one of those. One of the hardest things I've encountered so far about the Paula run is that she has no healing ability or life up. So you really, really have to play your items. Oh, I don't have enough money. Damn. Okay. Well, I think... I think I'd be better off chancing it than trying to sit and grind for the money. Because the longer I stay here, the harder it seems to get for that. Ah! Yeah, yeah, she's very much like a glass cannon. I just gotta start praying around like 50 HP. <laughs> she gets a cold again and hope to get that max heal. Oh, that's a great, a great spawn for that room. So far, the trip's been a lot cleaner. I got to remember that uh, freeze does like nothing on the slimy pile. Remove the dog immediately. There's that cold. I wonder if a better strategy would be to take the skip sandwich and go sell the skip sandwich so that I could buy a cold remedy. I'm not going to get rid of that um, PSI caramel because that's going to come in big handy later. All right, let's see. Mm, oh, shit. Nope. That's not going to be good. Fire doesn't hurt the ghosties. Let's see if we can get a full heal. Oh no. So the possession is basically a death sentence. Yeah. I was getting possessed earlier and every time you go to like move, generally the ghost will try to get one person, but since there's only one person in the party, it uh always just makes Paula solidified for a turn.
Well, I want the silver bracelet, so fighting that group of enemies is important. I'm going to try something different this time. I'm going to go grab the skip sandwich because it's pretty easy to get to. And then I'm going to run back and sell the skip sandwich by a cold remedy so that when I get a cold from one of the zombies, I can heal it at least once. I could try to use the skip sandwich and skip the next zombie room, but I don't know if that's really uh, the best option. Ah! The possessors are the worst. Go. Keeping it cheesy. There's a lot going on in there. The dogs are kind of spooky. Oh no, the dogs are spooky because they can poison you. They knew people would do this, so they set up a trap. We'll just go for it. I'm spooked from the zombie dogs and their poison though earlier. That was rough. Yeah, yeah, Bubble Monkey's uh, the real MVP. I've noticed that happening quite a bit with uh, Bubble Monkey in the party. It's kind of funny. You know, I'm wondering if I could just do it. If I just do the same thing I did last time. Let's let's try it. Cuz I feel like going back, I'm going to waste like the same amount of PP to get here, so it's it's probably just going to be a moot point, really. Silver bracelet. Ah. Oh. Okay. Same thing. Ah. 
Oh, but it didn't... didn't kill. There we go. Now I just gotta deal with the little pile. Though it doesn't have much... too much attack, and I don't have a cold this time, so... I'm not gonna be dying... passively. I should probably equip that bracelet, though. Alright. I could use the PSI caramel now, but I feel like most of the PSI doesn't do much to the pile anyway. Honestly, I think the best thing I could do is offense up. Oh, not enough PP. Well, I guess I could do fire since freeze doesn't do much. See if that does anything. That's not bad. I have to pray for that health. Gotta believe. Ah, mini bar foul for blood this time. Jeez. Maybe. Uh, kind of sucks because I don't want to, like, waste all of my PP or anything immediately. I should probably have uh, reset instead. I mean, I guess I could try to grind for bombs, but they don't drop them very often. It might even be one of the 1 out of 128s for the Trick or Trick kid. I don't know. I don't know what the ratio is. Bombs might help, but then again, I guess if I just make it through with enough PP to handle it, I could just do PK Fire um, over and over again. That, that'll do it as long as I could keep myself alive. But I feel like I need more food. That's another problem. Um, I've seen other people when they do the run. Um, they probably give Paula the ATM card so you can get food. I will be right back. Just a few minutes. All right, I'm back again. Let's uh, take another crack at it. I think, honestly, the plan that I was going to go for would be the solid one. 
would be to go grab the skip sandwich and get back if I could do it without getting hit or spending too much PP. So if I could cheese these spawns a little bit. And just get a nice clean run through it. Aha! Oh, look at that. It's like it just gave it to me. All right. The Skip Sandwich DX should probably sell for a good penny. So. Maybe I can at least get like a couple croissants. I don't think I'm going to get a clean out here. Then if I do the next spot, it's probably going to be rough too. Ah, screw it. Just got to go for it sometimes. Honestly, eh, if I spend a little bit of PP, it's not so bad. If I get to the final boss and I need more, I do have the caramel. And I just won't save in case I screw things up horribly somehow. Here we go, let's sell some stuff. $49. Okay, sure. Uh, that sounds not too bad. Or about 60 HP from the calorie stick. Okay. Buy two calorie sticks and a cold remedy. Oh. 
That'll do. I'm wondering how the toothbrush works. Is that like a cheaper cold remedy? No, I don't think the toothbrush helps the cold. Much better. You know what? I could have sold the copper bracelet. Oof. Big oof. You know what? We're just going to drop it now. We're already too far in to worry about it. Unless one of these guys possess me and screw the whole thing. Then I'm just going to leave it up to prayer, I guess. Damn it. Okay, sometimes it fails, so it's not complete death sentence. I have a chance. I'm possessed. Things don't look great, but I guess I'll use the... I guess I'm just going to go ahead and pop this PSI caramel, because if, if it's going to happen now, I'm going to need that.
Oh, I didn't mean to use freeze. Well, at least it got solidified for a turn. That's that's good. Need to use fire. Kill it with fire. All right, and we beat the mini barf. Wasn't too bad, just had to live up through it. I did, in fact, need that, uh, that PSI caramel. Mm, I'll save my six dollars for now. I I could get a cup of coffee, but ah, butterfly, exactly what I needed. Yes. Oh, that's not going to work at all. All right, Saturn Valley, here we come. There's a bomb inside. I don't want to deal with that frog. Protein drink. I can't use the bottle rocket anyway. Solo Jeffron will be a lot of fun for that, though. Well, that and you also get a bunch of stuff as early as Tucson. I don't know if uh, that will really matter because... Oh, well, no, you should be able to get your IQ up, you know, considering you're playing him through the whole game. All right. It's one of my favorite parts of the game. Oh, I gotta go back and talk to him. Dr. Saturn is also a licensed exorcist. Yes, please. Free slumber. I can actually level grind efficiently here. I am definitely going to do that before I go on.
Okay, I don't really need any of that stuff. Can't get anything from the store. I'm broke. I mean, I could sell the bomb. Let's see. It's like, they give you, like, what, 70 bucks for the bomb? That depends on if there's anything worth buying for that. Did I... I made it through that whole boss fight without even equipping the silver bracelet. What? Okay, then. And I made it here. I'm kind of surprised, actually. Red ribbon, but that's expensive. Bionic slingshot? I don't know. I could just wait for a better fry pan. All right. Oh, butterfly. But if I got to that butterfly, I would have to reset. I could get in there. That was one of my favorite little uh, tricks. Um, is if you go to the right spot up there, you can actually clip out into that area where the butterflies and ducks sometimes spawn. All right. I guess let's just do some grinding, since I can sleep for free. No mercy. Does freeze work on these things? Okay, good. Freeze is great. That's how we're going to deal with those from now on. Let's see, does freeze alpha work? Does it have to be beta? Has to, well, either two freeze alphas or one freeze beta. Looks like it'll do it. I think I'd rather spend the one extra PP and just get the insta kill. Sure, why not? The great thing about if I die here, it's kind of not the worst. Skip sandwich. Hmm. It's it's probably not worth holding on to as much as I want it.
I wonder what level I should get up to. Maybe like 35 or something. It's not too much. Or at least like just 32. Get a good couple of levels just because there's, there's nowhere I can really safely level grind except for Happy Happy Village and Saturn Valley. Because I can get free heals there. And I can't get to Happy Happy right now, so we're stuck. We're stuck here level grinding for a little bit. <laughs> but if I had to be stuck anywhere, I would be stuck in Saturn Valley. I would be perfectly okay with that. Nope, it's got to be fire for the zombie. Oof. Aha! Oh, whatever. I think I can kill it. Oh, I should have used Freeze, actually. Freeze works better. Oh, damn it. Yeah, if I would have done Freeze, I would have stayed alive. I should have bought that cup of coffee.
all lined up in a perfect row. Freeze Gamma. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's try it out on this poor violent roach. Give it a save just in case anything happens. Ooh, there's a butterfly if I can fill these two off. Oh, hey! I could always go into the place, too, and uh, grind on some foppies.
Fuzzy pickles. All right, might as well. Let's let's go ahead and just unlock Belch's factory. Hmm. Dot dot dot. It doesn't say say password. Do I have to talk to the? Uh, I don't want to waste my items. If I die, I'll just go back to the the place, Saturn Valley. Probably be quicker than walking there, honestly. I'm curious if I have to talk to the uh, the S Mr. Saturn. Or if it's another one of those um, Ness hard-coded things. I wonder if Ness has to be in my party for that. Which, I mean, I can fix that if necessary. Alright. Oh yeah, I, was, I gotta go talk to the Mr. Saturn up here, I think. Belchman say, say password, then stand still. Wait for three minutes. Okay, maybe now that I've talked to him... It'll do it. Not sure if that's a thing or not. Usually I like to talk to them, especially all the Mr. Saturns. I always loved being here as a kid. Oh. Alright, at least I'm level 32. I guess uh, it wouldn't be a bad time to just go and attempt the thing and find out whether or not we can do the thing. Damn, that took me out quick. Alright, let's go back, because very close to dying. Uh, 
Ah. Uh. All right, that's much better. Look at that, perfect shot. Okay, so let's see. Say the password. All right, we should wait three minutes. I always liked how one of the themes in this game is that uh, is patience too. There's uh, no run button unless you have a hack for it, of course. You gotta wait three minutes for the password.
All right. You may enter. Well, I actually have enough uh, to deal with it. Let's see. Yes, I've got the fly, honey. Don't you worry. Let's see if the foppies give me lots of uh, XP. I remember these being a good grind. Oh yeah, that's that's really good. I think foppies are like one of the best grinds in the game. A bomb, huh? I might come back for that. Let's see what happens if we just run through it. Freeze work on these? I can't remember. Yeah, okay, freeze is great. And that's not the way I need to go. Not very worried about items right now. I just kind of want to see about fighting Belch with what I've got. I'll come back and grab some of those later, possibly. Will fire deal with the piles? Let's hope so. Yes, okay. That's annoying. Oh no, they're everywhere.
Ah, oh, that's okay. Okay, so Belch's factory. The foppies are easy. I could just grind foppies for a little bit, and that's probably what I'm going to have to do. The same combo that killed me last time. Not a chance. Yeah, the two crocodiles is a little rough for Paula. Oop, I gotta heal. It's honestly way better farm potential inside the uh, factory.
Because at least I don't have so much chance of dying. Getting all the way through Belch's factory with enough uh, HP and PP is going to be tough. Especially because I have to come all the way down here. As long as it's just one crocodile, it's fine. I think. Barely, just barely. At least I got the level up. Okay, so if I could get it clean into there, I can at least grind some foppies. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. That was not what I expected when I walked through that door. Yeah, big dead. Trying to get a clean dish out. That's probably better. I think I could deal with this easier. Okay. 
That was a solid, a solid end. So let's see. Let's try to go through it again, rather than just grind the foppies. I mean, we'll get those along the way, right? If I need to go this way. And I can't remember if it's up or just straight left. I think it's just left. Oh yeah, this is the butterfly room. Oh, that was weird. You know what? I might as well get full PP for this. Oh, hey there. One more. Not dealing with the infinitely multiplying slimy little pile. All right, we're at Belch, I think. Here we are, okay. <laughs> I'll wait on those. So we've got the fly honey, though. Oh, that's what the toothbrush is for when you feel nauseous. Oh, that was easy. The harder part was just getting to him. Two PK freeze gammas will do it, I guess. Uh. 
I've just got to not die from the nausea. Oh no. Okay, I'm no longer nauseous. All right. Drink coffee before go? Yes. Yes, please. My girlfriend has brought me a DQ blizzard, so I get to enjoy that with my Mr. Saturn coffee. All right, let's go back to the hotel. Hotel de Saturn. Mm. 
And then I guess we get to make our way to Forside, or at least the Dusty Dunes Desert. I'm so glad I only had to fight Belch once. Went a lot better than I thought I was going to. Oh, I meant to record. Push should be instead of A. Oh no, I instinctively went back up that way. Oh good. This is doable. I just gotta get rid of the crocodile first. I could dip into Belch's factory for a minute. Just long enough to go get that bomb. Maybe some of the other items in there. I think that sounds like a worthy detour. So even if I don't use the bomb, I could sell the bomb for a full heal. Oh, hell no. Oh, what's with those crocodiles? They're everywhere. All right. Also, before I go to four side, oh, I can't go back in. It's locked out. I might be able to go back through Saturn Valley, though. But you know what? I'm not going to mess with it. We'll just let that stuff be lost. I've already got to go back to Onet and get rid of the jar of fly honey and the backstage pass and the pack of bubble gum. I don't really need any of those. I may not need the pencil eraser again, but it helped out having it last time, so we'll 
hold on to it now for now. Got the happy threed music. And back to Onet we go. It's going to be a long walk. But that's the only way I can drop off these items. So that's what we're going to do. See what's in that gift box over here that I didn't grab. Skip sandwich. Oh no. I thought Bubble Monkey would catch her from behind. Wait a minute. A ruler. Cool. Wonder if I can sell that. I think it's only worth like a dollar. <laughs>
do the skip sandwich. I'll sell the ruler. Throw away the jar of fly honey. Backstage pass. Pack of bubble gum. Sorry, bubble monkey. Wait, actually, I'm curious. If I use that... Oh no, okay. I was hoping Bubble Monkey would just do the little boop thing. But, uh, I guess not. So we'll store it then. All right, and then back to three, then onward to four side. Yep, I was right. One dollar for the ruler.
There will be a nice spot out here in the desert where I'll be able to stay for free once I get there. Should go ahead and save here since we've made it this far. Oh, that's going to be really rough. I didn't think about the sunstroke and the fact that the wet towels cost $24. Um, normally I would just cure the sunstroke with Ness's healing, but, uh, we don't exactly have that luxury. Maybe I should have gone back in, um, Saturn Valley to get that extra stuff. I could sell the bomb. Since I don't want to sell the bomb, I could sell the bomb. I do know where one more is if I ever need it. Well, okay, I've saved. Let's see if I can make it through without dying of sunstroke. Won't know until I try. If I could make it to the safe house, would be good. I know I won't be able to talk to Talarama yet. I don't, um, actually, just in case I need to have talked to him once. Oh, that was weird. Oof. Oh no. Run, run, run. That's good. I'm mashermized. Oops. Since that puts me back here, I'm just going to do the old reset. Since I don't have a better way of getting EP restoration. Alright, I guess I just won't try to go talk to Talarama. That sunstroke is going to freaking kill me though. As much as I really hate this, I'm going to have to sell the bomb and then buy a couple wet towels just so I can make it through. And I'm going to have to be really careful because I'm going to only have so many steps.
Might as well get the can of fruit juice. All right, so we got three wet towels and a can of fruit juice. Let's see if that will help us to survive the harsh conditions of the desert. All right. Oh no, not worth. I was going for the butterfly. And I've already got sunstroke. That's a big problem. Oh no. I hope Freeze works on the Crested Buka. Oh. Sunstroke was cured. The only problem with that is I still don't have any health. The second I get sunstroke, I'm going to die. Well, I'm going to see if I can rush this, the thing. Just try to murder everything with PK freeze. There we go. Perfect, perfect. With one HP to spare. And then I get Sunstroke. Guess we'll use one of those wet towels now. Okay, so do I have to give the guy over here food? I guess I can give him the cookie. Yes, I do have food. Here, have a cookie. All right, we're out of the desert for now. And we're in Forside.
Well, sort of. Now we're officially, undoubtedly, in Foreside. We got full health. I don't want to try to deal with that car right now. The taxis are really, uh, kind of rough. I don't remember exactly what I need to be doing here. The apartment store is closed. I need to check around the cafe. But I haven't talked to the... person that unlocks the thing. I'm going to come back to the cafe later. Temporarily closed. Wah! Oh, I don't have enough tickets for the Venus show. I think I have to go to the Venus show, though, because I have to see the cutscene where... Someone's acting funky. Right. Okay. I see what's going on here. I have the big bottle rocket. I can go sell that. And I'll go buy my ticket. Oh, wait. Department store is closed. That's a problem. Wait, what about that dude back here? There should be one of those arms salesmen hanging out. Probably not close to the cop. If I were him, I wouldn't. I think he's up to the left. Aha. Oh, but you won't let me sell things. chase that right now. Can't sell things at the bakery either. 
I'm probably going to have to run back through the desert, but that means that I'm probably going to die. That's okay. I don't think I saved here yet, so I should spawn up the house in the desert if I do die. Wait, can I take the bus? It's going to cost money, doesn't it? Damn it. <laughs> the bus would eliminate my chances of probably dying going through here. Okay, the cars aren't blocking it anymore, so I don't have to worry about that. I can just go through. Alright, I've come all the way back to three just to sell the big bottle rocket. $69. Nice. I think that was enough for the ticket, right? Was it only like $20? I hope it was only like $20. I almost really feel like I should go back to Saturn Valley, but I don't want to make that trek unless I really have to. That's going to be my last resort. I know there are items here that are worth money. Like, even if I grab, like, the sudden guts pill and stuff like that that I'm never going to use. Um, between what's in Saturn Valley and Belch's factory. I'll have enough to buy my way in. Because I know there's so many points in the game where I do have to, like, pay money for things. Like, uh... I've got to buy into the Venus show at least once, maybe twice. Um, so I know I've got to get the autograph and then I have to buy my way into the Scarab Cultural Museum.
All right, back at the top hole of theater. 30 bucks. Okay, I've got enough for a ticket. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I do have to come in here because I've got to talk to the manager lady. Oh, right, it's the Runaway 5 at first. Yeah, they showed up here. Oh, is this a soft lock? Do I have to have Ness in my party? Oh, shit. Okay. So... This is a point in the game where I am going to have to add Ness into the party just so I can bring him in here. At least I do believe. I don't think there's any other way through this. Let me throw. Let me throw. Okay, well, there's no way I'm going to get through that. So I'm going to go save and I'm going to. Add Ness to the party, I guess. I still have enough for another show ticket, so we'll have to rely on that. All right, back to the hotel and back to the save editor we go. All right, I will be right back. And then when I come back, we'll fix that save file and temporarily add Ness to our party.
Okay, I'm back, and I just had a thought. I'm wondering now if... If I don't actually have to watch them play that part... Let's load up and find out, and then if it does, then I'll do the reset, and I'll fix the save file like I was gonna, and all that. Go. So I've already talked to the manager. I wonder if that's all I need to do. And I just can't get backstage. If I walk on the bridge, if all is done correctly, that's when they're going to bring me back that ruby. I believe. Oh no, uh, if all is done correctly, the hole will be dug. Unless the hole was already dug. Now I'm questioning whether I needed to go spend the 30 bucks in there or not. Because now I'm here regardless. Okay, here we are in the dreaded mole cave. I'll go this way first, I guess. I remember this part. Being a kid, I always uh, ask my mom for help. <laughs> we always got lost. This is going to be a really, really rough time in here. Does freeze work? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Fire gamma to match my freeze gamma. IQ capsule, I will take that. I probably should have done a big freeze on that. Oh, no, beta freeze isn't isn't bad. Good to know. Good to know.
Big bottle rocket, I can sell that later. Croissant, picnic lunch, perfect. I'm not sure if I want to take an exit mouse with me. I mean, I guess they could get me right to the exit whenever I'm ready. All right, so let's go down. Let's see if beta is enough to kill the mad ducks. All right, good. That's good to know, too. The mad ducks are one of my favorite enemies. <laughs> Noose man's gonna get me if I'm not careful. I don't want to waste the picnic lunch. I think it'd be better just to die here. Try prayer. Will prayer save me from the noose? The noose man? Nope. Nope, the noose man has won. Oh shit, that means I lose money though. I should have just... Yeah, I should have eaten the picnic lunch. Oh, that's bunk. Okay. Oh well. It's worth though, because at least I beat one of the Mondo... Or one of the, the Guardian Diggers. No! Fucker. I don't even have enough to PK freeze him. Damn. That was way worse than I thought it was going to be.
Yeah, good job, Bubble Monkey. I'm so dead, though. What? Died of sunstroke. And then one. I've got to use that wet towel immediately. Now, unless I get sunstroke between here and the house, I want to save here so that I respawn here. Let's save here. Alright, with full HP, we will go at it once more. The worst luck would be getting sunstroke in that limited amount of time before you head into the cave. Let's see, which way did I go last time? Honestly, I think that's just the long way around to getting to the middle part. Damn. Oh, poison's gonna suck. Big nope. That might be a little over. Might be a little overkill. I might need to uh, use um, try beta and see if it works. But I don't know. That's kind of scary. Let's see. I tried going down last time, and I got wrecked. Let's let's try this. This way, left and down. I could go through the down the ladder and see what happens. Try fire this time. Rude. Oof. Damn it. I know I should have. Uh... Ooh, that's not good. I don't know how I'm going to get rid of poison either. I don't think I'm going to get rid of the poison. Yeah, I'm just going to have to not allow those to live at all. I mean, that should be a given, but 
still. Got the super bomb. I'm just going to eat the picnic lunch because I want to get rid of uh, this mole. The carton of cream on the picnic lunch didn't taste very good. Maybe not on the whole picnic lunch. That's two down. I'm not going to bother using the exit mouse because, like, even if I do get out there, I'm going to die from poison. So I might as well just kill whatever I can and respawn. I guess that's the plan. Oh, I meant to pray. That's okay. I don't think it would have, uh... I don't think it would have worked out. <laughs> or just prolong the inevitable a little bit. At least I can get a full heal here. Oh, that's right. I believe I didn't need to skip past this at all when I woke up in the morning. I just um, come straight into the hole and... And I can just start doing it immediately, if I remember right. I think I've done it like that before. Let's just try this way. Oh, that just takes me back down here to the one I already beat. Okay. Well, if I came through that way...
think I need to go this way. Oh, yep, that's just back here again, silly me. At least I'm getting good level ups. I think I came in from that way before. I've went left. I kind of went down, but I don't think I got everything from down. So let's try up. Secret herb. That's good stuff. One shot the mad duck. That's good. All right. That's three moles down. Guts capsule. I want it, but I don't want it that bad. Nah. Well, I don't know. That's a permanent stat increase. I can't just, like, throw it out. But everything I have is so good. I mean, I guess I could toss the cold remedy, but then I feel like if I do that, it's going to bite me in the ass later. I need to hold on to my items. actually changed my mind getting rid of the cold remedy because the secret herb should probably help with the cold normally I would save my secret herbs for paralysis or um, you know diamondized incapacitated but if any of those happen, I'm dead anyway, so we'll just keep it as an all general thing. I should have taken that guts capsule. I'm going to need some guts to deal with all of this. No.
they're gonna take my PP anyway, so I might as well just do that. Now time for the exit mouse to shine. Got two more moles to go. I should have beat up the noose first. Oof. I need to not do that. I need to uh, actually beat up the noose really good. Oof. Okay. No, 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 no. That takes me back that way. This takes me up here to the four way. No, this takes me up here where I've already beaten that one. Right. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> having trouble remembering this place. It's always confused me. Probably not that way. I should probably go this way. That hard. That's the way that I just instinctively want to go. I keep forgetting which way I came from. I should have tried going the other way, because this takes me up this way again.
See if I can go down and then not get my ass kicked this time. I didn't mean to do that. I should have used fire. Well... Let's try that again. Let's try going up again this time. I, thought, I think that's the way I went the first time, but we'll see if that's easier to deal with. I wonder if right was the way I needed to go up there. I don't think I've ever been that way. Let's double check. Oh no, that's just left here. Okay, so... So down here is the only way to really go. That's a big loop contained in itself. And down is the direction I keep going and getting my ass kicked. So I think down is the only way I need to go. I've gotten everything in up, and I think I've gotten everything on the left side so far. All right, let's try this way. I don't think I went this way, did I? Okay, I did not. Perfect.
Bubble Monkey killed the mole? What? He had one HP left. Must have survived from guts. One HP left. Um, that's crazy. And Bubble Monkey hit hit the one last HP. I can't believe that. I can't believe Bubble Monkey just took that took him out. Like that's neat. Bubble Monkey's the real MVP here. Don't know what I'd do without him. Ooh, the teddy bear will actually be super worth it. Okay, I don't need this ribbon as much as it would be nice to sell it. Goodbye, ribbon. We now have coin of defense. Now we got the teddy bear. I'll make things better. So it's either it's either left and down or down are our two options to go. Let's try down. I swear if this snake poisons me. Oh, is that just this? Oh, I'm out of PP. That's not good. Did not work on the teddy bear. Awesome. I wonder if I can run. Teddy bear became a pile of fluff. Run, run, Paula. Run! Okay, good. If I find the last mole, I will totally use the PSI caramel to get enough to to kill it. I This might be the end of me right here. I don't know. I try praying.
Nope. Probably would have been better off just attacking all out. Focusing on one. I could prolong this by eating food, but it might just be better to get the free heal. And just come down in and make going down my priority. Yep. Rep me. Oh, damn it. Why do I keep doing that? I keep falling for that loop. Intuitively, my brain wants to say, oh, yes, go left. Or perhaps counterintuitively, depending on how you're looking at it. All right, straight down. Ah, the ducks are a nuisance. All right, last mole. Well, 
That's done. Luck capsule and a platinum band. Oh, hell yeah. Um, that's not the way I intended to go. Silly me. I should have just grabbed the exit mouse. Please, mouse friend, help me escape. Oh, I can't. That's okay. This is the way out. I remember now. Now I believe I just gotta go to four side. Oh, damn it. No. I have too many things. Okay. Let's set a good plan here. I'm going to go sell the silver bracelet and the big bottle rocket so that I have the money. And then I'll go back to the excavation office. Until then, I'll just mercilessly throw my strongest psychic attacks at anything I see.
Wait, I can't go to the department store. Wait a minute. I'm going to have to go all the way back to Tucson, aren't I? I don't want a chance getting sunstroke talking to one of those other people around. So I'm going to go, I'm going to walk all the way back to Tucson so I can sell those things. Well, here we go. It's going to be a real fun um, time when I have to deal with uh, the monkey cave. I don't know. I still don't know how I'm going to manage that. I mean, I guess there's always a way, right? Like, worst comes to worst, I could resort to selling cookies again. Or the probably more solid and easier to accomplish now mushroom hunting idea. Couple that with the chickens as long as I only do the chickens one at a time, apparently. I need to go to the store. Sell the big bottle rocket. And we'll sell the silver bracelet. $299. That's awesome. That gives me some money for a while. Okay, now to walk back to the desert.
All right. We've cleared up some inventory space. I guess I've got to go talk to the other guy. Oh. Never mind. Got the diamond. Now we gotta go bail out the runaway five again. See, this is where I may have to use the save editor. We'll see. If it doesn't let me go backstage, I might not be able to cue the Runaway 5 show at all. All right. I'm going to save at the hotel and we're going to try to get that working. Let's see if we could just give the diamond to the uh, to the manager now. All right, I guess I didn't need to queue the Runaway 5 after all. Or that queues the show. Let's do this one last show and get out of here, he said. All right. The final Runaway 5 performance at the Tapola Theater.
All right. Okay, so we did that part. Now I think we need to go check out the museum. I know he's the guy I've got to get uh, an autograph from Venus for. But I don't know if I'm supposed to do that yet or if I'm supposed to do the department store thing. Let's go check out the department store, see if I can get that to happen. I should probably save before I do that because I've heard the department store is rather glitchy and that makes a lot of sense Paul is supposed to get kidnapped there so uh, yeah that could be bad Okay, yeah, the department store's weird. Yep, here we go. I think I just gotta go to the top and then come back down, right? Isn't that how this works? I have enough money, I could probably buy a teddy bear. No spooks in here yet.
Oh. <laughs> um, sure. Let's see what happens. Oh, yep. Figured that would happen. Okay, so what we are going to have to do is edit the save file again. I'm going to have to give Paula the ATM card, and I'm going to have, I guess, Ness join the party. And then as soon as Paula gets kidnapped again, I'll switch it back to Ness. Or switch it back to Paula. That's what we're going to have to do. Easy enough. Bot 2. Oh, wait, I can just add a party member. All right, I guess I can just add Ness to the party. I should have probably, uh, I should have probably backed that up before I did that. But you know what? We're taking chances. We're living on the edge. Oh, that did not add Ness to the party. Okay, I hope that didn't uh, screw anything else up. Well, let's just go with the safe idea then and give uh give Paula an ATM card I just I I've already committed to the idea of not using the ATM card. So I'm going to uh take it off when I'm done as well. Or just only use it for what I need. I'm not going to actually access the ATM with it. It's strictly for debug purposes. Perhaps next time I won't uh, make it so difficult. Or perhaps I will. I don't know. I'm kind of having fun with the challenge because it's making me, like, sell stuff or actually use some of, like, the game's money-making tools and stuff. I didn't get the for sale sign. All right.
Paula has the ATM card. Let's add Ness. If I get it in any battles, then I will, uh, I'll just make Ness defend, even though he'll, he'll kind of be like a damage sponge. I still want the teddy bear. Oh, Ness has the ch <laughs> Ness has all the eggs. What, the fresh eggs actually hatched? Okay then. Glad to know that's working now. Alright, here we go. Alright, so then we use Ness's ATM card. We'll add Paula back in. And then remove Ness. Bye, Ness. Alright, we gotta not die here. That's why I bought the teddy bear, just to make it a little safer. Oh, this looks fun. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. I don't like that. Yeah, Franklin badge. Okay, good. Teddy bear became a pile of fluff. Thank you, teddy bear. No! Come on, Paula. Oh my god. Whew. Okay, the only thing... Okay, no, I have the calorie stick. Good. Shit. I can't chance it at all.
That's not good. Fifteen health. Let's see. Yes. That went so well. All right. Fuzzy pickles. Okay. Now would be a really good time to save the game. I should go to the hotel, but I'm going to save here too first, just in case. Need it, I'll deliver it to you anytime you want. Wait, yeah, well, what did happen to the pencil eraser? Hotel. It's worth the full heal. Totally worth the full heal. Actually, it's probably not because I could have just went to the desert for free, but whatever. It's fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here for the night. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. Bring it to... Uh, <laughs> take on the rest of Foresight and... Moonside and all of that stuff. For now, I think I'm going to rest and I hope you all have a good night as well. <laughs>